Good morning guys. Um, today I want to do a video on how to make a fastback edge trick rope. It's the rope I use in all my shows and this is pretty much it. This is the rope I do all my Charles stuff or that style with. I do all my trick roping on horse and I, um, I really like this rope. It's, uh, it's a great rope. It's poly um, fastback edge. It's a four strand and I would use a uh, poly rope for trick rope versus a nylon. Nylon doesn't take a twist as well. It's a little more wobbly. You want a little more dead feeling rope. And I felt like every calf rope out there edges the best rope. And for me, I love the feel of it. It's got a good weight. And um, yeah, I'm just making a bunch for the summer. And I'm going to show you how to make that Honda. That's the one I use. And I'm going to show you really quick. Um, kind of, this is a rope that. Um, more like down in Mexico they use. I practice with this one a little. It's just a different feel. Uh, it's kind of made more out of like what they do bale and twine with. And so it's a little light on my shoulder. But um, you can tell they got the big um, heavy burn. This is the same kind of Honda they tie on their grass ropes uh, to do all like the horse catches and stuff. And in the Honda they run two strands through. It's a four strand so they run two of them through. And then they take two of them and they run it around and do a half hitch. Um, that way you can rope like rope something. This rope is really not made to catch anything. It's just for doing the tricks. Um, I did want to show this. This is another uh, poly rope. But this one, a kind of cool uh, short story. Uh, this is Anthony Lucia rope. And this rope means a lot to me because a few years ago at the NFR, we performed together and... This was rope he used, and with Charlie Daniels playing, we both did it. It was amazing. It was like one of the biggest, coolest things in my life. And when we came out of the arena, we were all stoked, and I was like, that was amazing. We traded ropes then, and uh, so this was rope Anthony and Lucia used. If you guys, uh, you guys need to look up some videos, Anthony, he's truly one of the greatest trick ropers of our generation. Um, he he was awesome, great showman. I uh, worked the NFR six times, and now he's into announcing. But if you give him a trick rope, it's pretty amazing. And I, I I love hanging out with him. But he uh, the Honda he uses is pretty cool. He just goes like straight off of the the shelf. Uh, he's sponsored by Classic, um, but he just uses the plain old rope and Honda which has a rawhide burner and it's like a plain knot with the rope goes back through the knot and then they burn it off tie it up and uh, one reason like he goes really really fast considering he uses this kind of stiff of a rope so he gets the big loop that's stiff plus he has a lot less friction versus the leather burners slows it down a little bit like when I'm on horse I want that big open slow loop where it's artistic and a little more of that kind of charo style but you know this is style he got um and he's he's great at it so i just want to show that this was a white rope and he painted it yellow um just kind of his trademark you paint rope any color you want uh this was something he he had that was very visible but um i'm gonna show you the way i i set up mine and so i'm gonna i got a new rope here and I use a soft, um, this is a 10.5, um, depending if I'm in the winter or the summer, like in the winter I do a lot of indoor coliseum rodeos, and so I, I go down to like a 10, because I don't need the extra weight, my shoulder, it would get hurt in using this heavy of a rope all year, and, uh, but in the summer I go up a couple, and to a 10.5 or 10.25, uh, because of the wind and the rain and the elements, I want a little extra weight where I can carry that rope and so this is a yeah, I like them pretty stiff and with a little extra weight just helps me in bad conditions um so first thing I do is it comes with a Honda like that and I'll take I like using white athletic tape just because I, I like as much weight on my rope as I can get that way it doesn't look like what's that <laughs> but I'll do a few wraps um, go down about two inches and then come your way back to the Honda just where when you cut it it's not going to come undone or fray a little extra tape is good and then 
I use my pipe cutters, go down, I want to have about a good inch, inch of that tape left on the rope, and, uh, I'll, uh, I like it because it does a good clean edge. I, I don't want it rough where it looks like I used a pocket knife. You can use a pocket knife or scissors, but just a good clean cut. And then I, uh, very important, pick up a few coils, like two or three, and you want your Honda to lay as flat to the rope. So if I'm holding my rope horizontal, I don't want my Honda vertical. And so I'll, uh, I'll coil the way up where I know that's the way the rope lays. And then I'll crease that Honda back over it, where it's right about there. Get about the size you want, just kind of eyeball it. I've tied enough, uh, if you want to compare it to a different Honda that you've already tied and you're like, I really like that size, then um, do that. I'll kind of look at it, crease it where, when I let go, I, I know where that crease is. And I'll put my thumb right where I think I want to tie uh, the strand. This is that wax leather thread come down give yourself a good little tail um and then tie it i always do three knots it's a superstition deal for me uh two who works just fine but anytime i'm tying a rope i want at least three uh three knots so give yourself a long tail like arm length and then some Take your Honda, double check it again. Can't stress it enough. Double check that your Honda's square. I'll come around again. Make sure that's about where I want it. Get that the small tail and wrap it around the where the Honda's gonna be. That way it's out of my way. Very important, that first wrap. Cinch that sucker down there. Pinch it where it's hard. Uh, where you know that thing's not going to come undone. And then I, I'll take that second wrap and I'll pull it from the other side. And then basically, I mean, don't, don't just wrap it. Like, wrap it as hard as you can, but work your way down that rope where you, uh, I, I like to go down about an inch. And again, just wrapping it hard, work your way back up. And you, you don't have to do this, like, super heavy, but, you know, if you don't do a good job at this, it's really embarrassing when your rope comes untied in the middle of a show. And uh, so this is the front of my Honda. This is the back. So I, I want my knots on the back. That way, if the rope gets rubbing on it, it won't come undone. Um, again, triple knot really quick right here. And... Uh, Make sure it's a like a box knot, not a thief's knot. Uh, do that, and then I like to take it, and not just one time through, but I'll come around the back, put it through the rope, pull that all the way down to the base of the Honda, and I'll do the same thing on the other side, where it wraps around each individual side, come around the back, and I'll cross them again, and then tie on the back. And so now it's tied twice. And then those tails, I don't like to just cut them off. I'll run my needle down the back side of the thread. And then I'll, uh, I'll re-thread it through the needle. And just a big old leather needle. Well, uh, this actually might prove to be a little harder than I was hoping. Um, but run it through, see it down. I, I pull the tabs down the base of it. And I'll do that for the other side really quick. But, um, this isn't necessary. I just like a certain way I do it where it's tidied up. Cut it where 
you got just a little hanging and then I'll take a lighter and then kind of burn it where it's nice and tight um again before I go any farther I, I'll double check make sure that lays good um you can kind of play with it a little but I, I, I want a true Honda. I, I don't want to have to be like, oh, and bend it. If it's a little off, I'll, I'll play with it a little. Maybe put it in the bag a little to the opposite where it rolls back. But what I was talking about was if the rope is laying horizontal, I want that Honda to be as vertical to the rope as I can get. Like You can tell that the rope is horizontal and the Honda is vertical. I want when I look down it, it is as flat to the rope as I, I can get very important uh and i don't want it to be weak there i want them side by side strong uh if they're like kind of twisted in there which you'll find out if you're uh making it enough they'll do that and then um you want them square this is the leather i use it is three and three quarters length pretty much long and one and three quarters length wide you can tell it's just a good piece of leather. Some people use double, uh, like two pieces of leather glued together. Um, I use one, and I don't like it that rough. Some people get where it's really rough, and the rougher it is, the more grab I'll have. Um, I like a pretty quick Honda, but I like a little bit of bite. So, and then you poke two holes in each corner going down the rope, and then right, this might be a little hard to see, but there is a uh, a little cut right there. And so you cut it in the middle on both sides. Some people do two or three cuts. I just like one in the middle. That way when it goes around the rope, it it, it opens up there and it's not just, it pulls itself down. I'll get some of this wax leather thread and um, just cut off like a good size chunk of that. You don't want to go on the short side because it's hard to tie knots. Run it through needle and this is like a leather needle it's a big open one run it from the rough side to the smooth side take your honda put it in again i got the smooth side to the rope the rough side to the middle of it i'll go through go over the rope under the rope where it makes a loop and then back out the opposite side hole so it's right about there and then i'll take the other end and uh, I, I then go through the top holes or I go through the the top hole I go under the rope or over under around and then back through the other side and uh, kind of pull those down where they're out of the way and so what I'm going to do now is I want those strands to be as close to each other as they can. Get that Honda right where I, I want it to sit square. And pull those really tight where they're snug. Um, I always tie the top side first. And so you're going to drop the bottom two strands. Pull those down tight. So it's wrapping around that there. Separate. And then I like this wax thread because it'll hold it just a little bit more than just like a plain thread. But again, get it tight. And then, like I always do, a triple knot. One, two, three. So the top one's done. Now I'm going to get those out of the way. I'm going to try to keep this up here. And then uh, I'm going to do the bottom ones. Again, you want these tight. One. Two, three, um, and then what I always do with the tails of them, just make sure that they don't come undone. I'll tie them together, uh, like I'll tie the top one and the bottom one from opposite sides together and then top and bottom from opposite sides together and that way it won't come undone, it won't get frayed old. And uh, and fall apart on me in the middle of a show. I uh, I like that, and that's pretty much how you make the Honda. I'll show you kind of how I tidy this up really quick. 
and then and you might do three four knots most guys probably just do two scissors cut it off where you got like a quarter of an inch half an inch of that thread and take a lighter bring those ends down to it and then press on it where they uh, flatten out and that's pretty much how you do it right there um, it might be a little bulky that's why some guys might do a smaller one but I know that's not coming undone and I made uh, this rope and so uh, this one I just need to do the other side and I'll do that in a second but that's pretty much how you want it I, I just duplicate that on the opposite side and I want to make sure that that's tied up there um, that's a good Honda for it and like that's with the leather I got a good three fingers pretty loose in there um, when you before you put the leather in there you want about three or four fingers and that way you got a bigger open one so the guy I like to open it up a little bit that way it's a big kind of open Honda but with that leather burner it slows it down kind of adds that charo effect where it pockets your rope a little bit more but yeah that's how I do it and I, I always tie like a, uh, a rose knot at the end you don't need to but just kind of a pretty knot for me and that's how I make it fast back edge it's a great rope and uh, you can learn a lot of tricks with it so I hope you guys enjoyed this this morning God bless and enjoy your open. See you guys.